Merry Christmas. How are you? Merry I hope you're doing great. I'm gonna show you today how to make a gnome. Gnome? Yeah. I never make sure like if I'm doing it right, but it's like a leprechaun for Christmas, okay? It's a gnome. It's a duende. Or it's a gnome. Un I don't know. Well, it's a gnome. It's a Christmas gnome that popular that everybody wants to make. Now, this is a fast way to make a gnome. This was the first attempt. Look, this can be perfect for line twisting. Look at this. This was the first one I made. Then I made with all the color thinking if it's gonna still looking like a gnome. And yep, 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 yep. Now, you can try with all the colors, yep. And all, you know, the colors is gonna look great. This can be for, perfect for line twisting. This is, I think, uh, gonna be a win design, you know, for this season. Christmas or even Thanksgiving, just play with colors. Uh, the gnomes now are in, even for Valentine's, you know, so play with colors. Um, now, for this, you're gonna use bee bodies, which is cool uh, because sometimes we have bee bodies and we never use it. And you find what else I can do, you know, with bee bodies, bee bodies, bee bodies. Bah, 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 bah. So this is what you're gonna be able to make with bee bodies. You can use the ones with the tip that is black and it's still looking cool, it's okay. Or the ones that doesn't have any tip uh, that are like something like this green. Now I like the green, you know, and that's what I'm gonna try. But you can, as you can see, play with different colors. Any color you have, I think it's gonna work. Just make sure that 160 balloon you use kind of go contrast or perfect for uh, a Christmas design or depending on the occasion you're doing it. I'm thinking Christmas because we're getting closer to Christmas. Right? Well, Thanksgiving, but now on Thanksgiving, why not try it with orange or this green with orange? Okay, now you have to make sure you have a good quality bee body because if you have to inflate the balloon almost all the way, so this is what you have to do. You're gonna start, look, put it in your balloon inflator and push the way to the end, the tip here, and that's what you're gonna inflate first. So when you have this inflated, you keep going and inflate the balloon. You have this. Now you inflate it all the way and then you lose some air, tight it so it's soft and squishable. You have this. Now from here, you're gonna make something. I'm gonna show you, let's see, maybe you can, you know what I did here. What is this? It's just two white pinch twists, one pinch twist blush, tie it together. And you have this left from that white pinch twist to 60. Let's do it. Good thing, you just need balloon scraps. This can be perfect for the nose. Now there's different ways to make the nose for the nose. You can use all the, the end of the balloon with a two finger bubble, but, and then leave some tip to attach it to the pinch twist, the white, or, which is for me better, is to just use a two or three finger bubble pinch twist. Now, with practice, you're gonna be able to do the pinch twist faster, but if, it, if you think it's too hard for your fingers, it's okay, just use the end, the tip of that blush to 60. Now, when you cut your balloon, make sure you have some uh, some tip, at least a little bit. You need a tip here, some piece, to attach it into that two pinch twist that we're gonna use uh, a white to 60. Also, you can do a balloon scrap. I always like to use my balloon scrap. If you have balloon scraps, go ahead and use it. I found this balloon scrap. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow. And you're going to inflate no more than five finger towel. Okay, now you're gonna make a three or two finger bubble pinch twist, and then another three or two finger bubble pinch twist, or you can just grab these two bubbles, that is like three finger bubble each, twist it together, lock them, and then make it into a Pinch twist. You have this. Look, perfect. Now remember the nose. You have it right here. Pass it, twist it, lock them there, and that is awesome. You have this. When you have this now, what you have to do is this B body. You're gonna grab like a hand or five finger long, twist, and look. You're gonna kind of like a squeeze with twisting, but. Make sure you have here the twist part that is gonna go. While you twist it, it's gonna go around this piece. So, there we go. So now, what I like is not the nose, but it's gonna go right on top of the beard. And you have this. Okay. 
Now, these ends, it's just grab it, and this is gonna be approximately the same size as this, but it kind of had to be, you know, tight, make it soft and it's pushable. And just grab the two ends, you see? Pass it around, tie it. Oh, oh, you can just, let's see, tie it. You have this. Now, you can now grab the second balloon, I mean the third balloon or the fourth balloon. <laughs> this is gonna be a 160, any color. What color? I like to play with red. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a, this is a 160 uh, red um, Decomex. So it's a little bit thicker than the regular, you know, 160 used to from Vitalatex or Quanatex or Sempertex. But it's still looking cool, I like it. So you don't need much, so I'm just leaving like a finger tail. You're gonna make a bubble, pinch twist, another bubble, and pinch twist. Okay, you have that. Then you're gonna go and pass it around. This pinch twist have to be in the back. This is the back. The nose is the front, right? So the back, you push there and pass it around. So, and gentle, that's good, and then, when you are here, make sure the pinch twists are up. And the rest, look, I like to squish, stretch, so then that's gonna be the part of the arms. It's coming the arms from here. So from here, it's coming the arms. And you're gonna measure like into get this point. If you don't want it too low of the with the body, just the middle or a little bit higher. That's gonna be good enough. Twist and twist it very well. Like twist, 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 twist because you're gonna twist a lot that that way then this you're gonna grab it and pass it between the beard and the, the green balloon so push squeeze and even there you're gonna keep twisting 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 so you have the space in between okay then you twist 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 squish stretch and make the other arm or go until the other arm so you have I'm going to show you, make sure you have things straight looking at you so you know how much air, uh, how much balloon you're going to give it to the other side. So you have this. Now, the rest, this is left over. You can cut it and, well, with your cutter or your scissors. Now, you don't need that unless you want to use it for, for example, the shoes. Why not? You can make shoes. But this design, I like the idea of making the shoes black or brown, you know, that the color of the shoes are gonna be also the same color for the gloves. Okay, now you can accommodate this shape. Look, this is what I'm doing. I'm rounding the sides, squishing a little bit there. So it's kind of like making a shape better. You have this. And here, shoes, I like the idea to use black. I think it looks, you know, it looks, so you decide what you want to use more you know black brown any color golden hmm. okay now i'm going to use an entire black just so you can see that with all this you know if you have an entire balloon it can be even the wristband for the bracelet you know and it can also have the gloves so you're going to inflate the balloon let me see leaving like 12 finger towel you're not going to need all and then you're gonna start, let's start with the little gloves. It's one finger bubble because they're little this time. I wanted to make it, you can make it bigger, yes, but it's one finger bubble pinch twist. Then you're gonna squish a little bit. You don't have to squish much, you know, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit there, squish. Let's see, okay? Look, it's just one finger that you're gonna be able to stretch later. One finger without stretching twist and make the other one finger bubble pinch twist grab your balloon use your scissors but for me it, that's it's faster with my teeth okay you can use your nails but you have to tie them you have this and this just gonna go right in here then you stretch it and you accommodate it now you see i just stretch accommodate and look how cute how cute you can just accommodate that you can always bend this a little bit to make it have more shape you know everything bending uh, is gonna have some more shape on oh my hair 
Um, look. Ah, oh, you're cute. Now, from here, you just need the shoes. You have all these, so for sure you're gonna be able to make that bracelet, and you can make it into a small little petals. Let's try that. Small petals, and you can make maybe like four or five. And I think let's try three, only three, and let's see what happens. That the idea is, uh, if you have enough, you just make two small loops or three, and this can be the base, and then the rest can go around your wristband, and with the green balloon you're gonna pull and attach it all the way here and even you have some green there use okay use it too to secure things and look look how cute best part you don't need to use sharpie now this is when the gnome have the hat all the way straight but you can always grab this and bend it okay be gentle because you don't want this to pop in the last moment and you don't need to bend much you know something like that that's it leave it there look at that it's a cute awesome christmas design i want it to fit in there so you can see it huh? and again you don't need to make any uh sharpie thing you can add a sticker maybe if you sharp you can add a snowflake or something christmas that's great. So for this design, you have to make sure you're looking at your design and you're looking, you know, like this straight, you know, so that's something very important. But this design, it's adorable. I love it. And I hope you like it too. Uh, it can be in a wand. It can be on a bracelet. When I say bracelet, you just move the end, stretch, grab, you know, one piece here, the little tip, pull, and then pass it around just to secure a couple times. Okay, and then you have this perfect to sit on your wrist. For kids, it's gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be, they're not gonna feel it's too tight. I think it's gonna have enough space. I hope you like it. Please tell me in the comments, what do you think? Don't you think this is a great, awesome design? A great idea, it can be perfect for line twist. Now, if you don't have B bodies, um, you can try it maybe with uh, 350, maybe. Tell me in the comments if you try how it looks like. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Alpaca Global Balloons. You will see pictures of all the designs I make when I go to restaurants, birthday parties, different type of events. Not all I make into a tutorial, but you know, always it's a good idea to kind of like open more your, your brain, even your imagination to um, check other pictures, you know, pictures, pictures, pictures of other designs. So here it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. You see, it's this is a fast design. It can be great for line twisting, you know. And you will see, people is gonna love it. Um, don't forget what else? Like, subscribe, your comments. That helps a lot to this channel to be much better. We are like, um, we just need three more people to have seven thousand subscribers, which is gonna be oh really cool. So if you can share this. Uh, videos this channel to other balloon twister i will very well appreciate it and what else subscribe and your comments your comments are really cool you know to help this channel also on the description of all my videos you can find there my address you can send balloons that i always <laughs> love balloons but also you can send things to decorate the shell to decorate you know the background of this uh, balloon room and um there also there is an amazon wish list which is a uh, all the things that I found on Amazon that I, th I think are great for balloon twisters and for people that love alpacas. <laughs> because that's what I do. The, I love alpacas and the, my business name is Alpaca Global Balloons. So um, yeah, you can always send, you know, like a, a kit or something to decorate a shell or balloons. Even my address is there so you can send, you know, a package of, you know, like balloons you don't use in or you wonder what to use those balloons like i have for example these balloons why don't you send them to me and you wonder what to do with these balloons these are from jamar the jamar is a really cool quality and what i use the other ones that are like this but skinnier i inflate it and it was great to decorate for example my tent in the summer you know to have my booth in a farmer's market or a, what is a farm festival stuff like that 
it was great and even these ones i'm thinking you know i can use it for those type of decor you know very fast they have already a shape crazy shape out of balloons and you just inflate it and it can be you know hanging from your tent or you know like a make something fast you know like just grab your non lamps and then just attach it on top it's something really cool you can make this is supposed to look more like a worm you can make a worm but um yeah so you can send balloons i always always love to have more balloons so i can practice and then i can share with you whatever i discover <laughs> that is possible to do have a wonderful day ciao ciao oh.